Welcome to Sketch Data. This video demonstrates how reporting tools can work not just with our catalog, but with attributes from other SketchUp components as well. To open the Reporting Tools window, select the button from the toolbar, or use the Sketch Data drop-down menu. This model is made up of Sketch Data components, and opening the Reporting window will build a data set for all these components. Once you are in the Report Viewer window, you can navigate the sidebar menu, allowing you to select different report templates. Also, you have the ability with the Report Designer to add or modify reports. A report will always have a detailed data band. This is referencing whichever data source you wish to report. Then you can add filters, which allows you to limit the data records to only the ones you want to see. You can also add grouping data bands to arrange data or provide summary values or other tallies. Once you have the design updated, you can preview the new report and save your changes. Here's a model of a children's playground, downloaded from the SketchUp warehouse. To start, we will turn off the sample sketch data reports, since they are designed around our catalog and we will be wanting to create a report that matches the attributes found on the components in the playground model instead. Let's open the Reporting Tools window to begin creating a new report. Now, looking at the list of report templates, we can see the sample reports that were once listed are now hidden. To start, we will select the blank template and open the design window. In the Report Designer, we can change the name and description details of the report. Then we can save the report to a new name. We'll want to save this new report to our folder location for user-created report templates. This allows the extension to see any new templates and add them to the menu list. You can even include an image file in the same folder for a thumbnail icon. Let's start working on the report. We already have a data band, but it needs to be linked to a data source. Now we can add an image object to show a picture of the components. Drop the image control into the area of the data band. Then link it to the thumbnail column from the data source. This column contains binary data necessary to create an image. Now we can browse the dictionary and data source tree to drop in other data. Text columns like item code and name. Now we'll use the preview option to review our changes. In looking at how the images are being displayed, we need to make a small change to the image control and add a filter to the data band. We only want to see components that have an image attached. Reviewing the preview again. We can see those changes make the report look much better. The image is now stretched to fill the image control, and we're only seeing components that have an image. Now we can try adding a group header to create tallies on common item codes. Use the toolbar to place a group header. Then, we select the data column we want to reference for grouping. In this case, item code. We'll now drag the data objects up from the detail band into the grouping band for reporting and shrinking the detail data band. Since there's nothing being displayed there now, 
Let's also add a text box to count the number components for that item code in the model. Using preview feature again, we can review our changes. Now let's go back and add some more formatting. Once we have all our changes done, we can save the template, like we did previously. Now if we open the reporting tools again, we will see our new report template on the list. You can also add PNG image file for a thumbnail. The report viewer allows us to page through the report, print, and also export to PDF. That completes our demo on reporting tools. Please visit the Sketch Data website and YouTube channel for additional resources. If you have any questions, please email us at info at sketchdata.com and thank you for watching this video.